All right, let's take a look at why would you take this class? What does it really mean? Right? And there's three reasons that I come up with. There's three major reasons. There's a lot of reasons. First off, it's Google, right? Google is the name. It doesn't matter what Google does. People go, what is Google doing? Right? That's, that's, they're just synonymous right now with technology. You know, many, many years ago, Microsoft was that. That's why many years ago, I got Microsoft certifications because Microsoft was the name. You put Microsoft on your resume and people go, wait, what is this? Right? That's what's happening right now with Google. And as a matter of fact, that's why you probably took the class. You're like, hey, Google's name's on that, right? So that's the number one thing is that when you write that down, I am Google support professional certified. I have that certification. Uh, then that's going to make people look at that resume. And, and if, even if they don't know what that means, they're going to ask you, what does that mean? And then you can describe this is some of the stuff I learned in that. This is what I went through and it was fascinating. And this is what I liked about it. And this is what I didn't, you know, it really gives you some talking points for saying, Hey, look at what I've done. Number two, the second reason is finding out if you have a true interest in information technology. There is so much money in information technology. We don't have enough people. There's another video I do on that for all the jobs that are out there. And normally where people start is in information technology support. And that's why Google has this certificate out there because they know that's where people need to start. So do you really have an interest in it? Well, by the time you get done with this course, you'll know whether or not you have an interest in it. Should I go further in this? Because at EAC, we offer a lot of classes to help you prepare to get you in there. And so, you know, in a summer course, right? Four weeks per course, so eight weeks total, you are through finding out whether or not technology is for you or not. And you can continue on and take more courses or not. In the spring and then in the fall, we offer this course, these courses as two eight-week courses. And so they're 16 weeks long. And within a certain semester, right, you can know. IT is for me or no, nah, that's not really. And then the third thing is, is that regardless of what you're going into, you're going to use computers. You're going to use technology and putting, being able to put that down. So just think of a business student. A business student goes through and they get a business degree. Maybe they even go on and get a bachelor's in management or something. And during that time, they take maybe two or three computer classes. And so really, when you get done with that business degree or an education degree or a medicine degree or whatever it happens to be, it doesn't say that you can do anything with the tools that you're actually going to use, the computer systems, right? It doesn't really say whether or not you can handle any of that. And so being able to put something like this on your resume, along with, I have this education that I've done is a huge thing because it, again, if they don't, even know what it is, they're going to say, well, what is this Google IT support thing? And you can describe, oh, I had to do all this technical stuff. And actually, I really liked it. It's not what I want to do with my life, but I really liked it. And then they can go, all right, doesn't matter what we have this person go out and do. Computers are not going to be a problem for them. And that is a huge, huge thing. I cannot tell you how huge that is. And so as you go through this course, uh, you're really going to, to meet those three those three needs of being able to get Google's name on something that you have, and they're a big name. And two, do I really like this stuff? And should I go further into IT? Or three, and three, I have now have something on my resume that shows that I have some technical ability beyond what I had to learn in whatever degree program I'm in. And so it's definitely well worth it. It is definitely, you know, a lot of work. There's lots of stuff to do. Uh, but if you plan it out right and you continue to move forward and you don't just waste weeks, um, you'll be able to do well in this. So I'm looking forward to having you in, in class and being able to help you in any way that I can.